Hi, welcome to Biz Roanoke. This month we will feature three new City of Roanoke businesses, Pastel, Bloom, and Salt. And we have with us our first guest, Brunella Salazar Ganti, who is the owner and operator and baker of Pastel. Hi, Brunella. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for being with us today. And congratulations on the purchase of what was Viva La Cupcake, now Pastel. Yes, ma'am, thank you so much. Absolutely. Give us the history of Pastel and how it came to be, the concept. Yes, so uh, about a year and a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. my husband and I uh, had the opportunity to buy uh, Viva La Cupcake, and uh, in that period of time, we kind of used it to test a few ideas and uh, to grow our, our network and our, our business and um, then about a, uh, six months later we decided that we wanted to bring other desserts to Roanoke, something a little bit more international, mm -hmm. a little bit more worldly with, um, and for that reason we had to change the name and to make it more of our own as well. Right. So that's why, that's how Pastel came to the table. Right. Now you came to Roanoke actually to attend Roanoke College, right? That's Originally? Correct. Yes. And you're a, you are an econ graduate at Roanoke College and now you have this great business and we love college graduates that stay in, in the Roanoke region. That's a great thing. Um, what makes Pastel different from Ro other Roanoke bakeries and what might visitors expect when they come to visit you all here? Yes, so Pastel, uh, the idea of Pastel, um, it's kind of also, the name is kind of a play on word. It means cake in Spanish, okay. but we also have a shop that has a lot of pastel colors. Mm -hmm. And so our goal was to incorporate uh, different recipes from different parts of the world and bring a little bit of class, a little bit of uh, elegance, mm -hmm. uh, affordable elegance to our community, uh, Roanoke. And so our goal is to make it a fun, also elegant, a date night type of atmosphere in an atmosphere where you can have a little get-togethers with your friends and uh, family. And speaking of get-togethers, I know that you do bridal showers here. You've recently had a bridal shower, but you can do a birthday party here or any type of social gathering, really. Yes, uh, we do bridal showers, baby showers, mm -hmm. uh, office parties, right birthday parties, uh, any kind of parties that we can do here. We had this weekend, we had a couple of bridal showers. Nice. And so it's been a, a, a pretty busy weekend and uh, we, uh, people really enjoyed being here because it's a really uh, nice space that so you don't necessarily need to decorate much right. because it's already decorated. Mm -hmm. um, and so it gives them a little bit of that flexibility to bring more people, invite more people, so. Right, it's like a bakery boutique. Um, and what are your hours here? We are open from Tuesday to Saturday from 11 to 7. Okay. Um, and uh, sometimes we do close a little earlier mm -hmm. because we, uh, out of product. Our, yes, we sell out mm -hmm. uh, sometimes around five or six. So if anybody has any requests or any orders that they would like to uh, place, mm -hmm. then I suggest that they do that perhaps uh, a couple of days prior so okay. that we can make sure we have enough products for them. All right, and what is your address here so our viewers will know where you're located? Yes, we are located at 2123 Crystal Spring Avenue, right. Southwest Roanoke, mm -hmm. uh, 24014 with safe code included. Right, right, <laughs> so it's the White House next to Fork in the Alley. White House right next to Fork in the Alley. Right, yes. right. Um, as you know, small businesses are the backbone of the economy. And um, so how do you feel like Pastel impacts economic development in the city of Roanoke? Being here in the community, we contribute to your community, not just in the cultural aspect, so that's an intangible uh, mm -hmm. economic um, boost, but also uh, we establish uh, relationships and we grow our business by working together with other businesses and uh, by um, obviously paying our taxes exactly. and things like that that are um, 
And the more we grow, the more we contribute to the community. And the community has been very accepting. And so we are really happy about that and hope to um, grow even more uh, with our clients and with our community and uh, I guess with our taxes too. <laughs> right, right. And you have a couple of uh, part-time employees that I've met that are great. Yes, yeah. yes. We have Haley and we have Maya. Right. Right. Maya, who is actually about to leave us, she's going, she was just accepted uh, full ride in Yale University. Yes, yes. Yeah. so I know you'll hate to lose her. She's, they're both assets to the, to the um, bakery. Um, how can our viewers learn more about Pastel? All right, so they can follow us on our Facebook. Uh, right. If they just do the at Roanoke, uh, excuse me, at Pastel okay. Roanoke, uh -huh. and um, also on Instagram, uh, also at Pastel Roanoke, right. and uh, they should be able to find us. And right. we have a website that is right now in the middle of some upgrades, uh, upgrades mm -hmm. but uh, hopefully we'll have it soon. Great, great. Well, thank you for being with us today. Of course. And um, we love your new location, and we're excited that you all are here, and thanks for everything that you're doing. Absolutely. Thank all you right. so much for coming to uh, Feature Our Place. Yes, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are with Nate Sloan. Nate is the owner and chef at Bloom, the new wine and tapas bar in the Wasina neighborhood. Hi, Nate. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for coming in. And we're excited about Bloom. Um, so talk to us a little bit about how Bloom came about in the city of Roanoke and about the, the concept. Yeah, so many years in the restaurant industry, there's always that thought in the back of your mind. One day I'm going to have my own place striving for that constantly, that constant evolution to that point. And then uh, a couple years ago, my wife and I moved back from Asheville. She got a great job here in the city and it kind of brought us back closer to family. And then we decided it was, it was time to make that leap, so. And talk to us about the concept of a wine and tapas bar and give us an example of some of the items that are on the menu. Yeah, of course. So kind of our spin on it with the uh, modern American small plates in the tapa style format mm -hmm. is definitely to entice people to try a lot of different items and share amongst the table and kind of create more of a convivial dining experience. Mm -hmm. Not so much as just this is my plate, this is your plate, in and out. We definitely want people to kind of enjoy themselves as the whole kind of hospitality experience kind of takes over. And um, in terms of the menu, we change it regularly, um, once to twice a week, in fact. Um, the whole menu might not change, but little pieces here and there. And uh, we try to incorporate seasonal ingredients, such as currently we have street corn on the menu and a really nice uh, salad with local stone fruits and things of that nature. Nice, so. nice. So again, just to recap, when you come to a restaurant like a tapas bar, don't order your own plate. You know, have your group order a variety of things and then share those items. Yeah. I think people have a hard time with that sometimes. Right. Well, and you don't have to share if you no. don't want to, of course, but that is kind of the idea behind right. it. Right. Right. Um, and what would you like to share um, with our viewers about about Bloom? Anything interesting or? Yeah. You know, um, Bloom really is just kind of an expression of seasonality and community for the area. Um, we're really fortunate and honored to be a part of this revi revitalization that Wasina is going through at the mm -hmm. moment. And so we feel like um, as the neighborhood kind of comes to life and blooms in its own right, we're happy to kind of be as part of that growth process. And uh, it's really an honor to be a part of such a positive momentum here in the Reno Valley. Well, sure. and I'm excited you all are in this space. Um, when I was a little girl, I used, as, as I've mentioned to you, I used to come to this space and it was actually, you could get a great hamburger here. I've heard about that. At the bar that, that was yeah. here, and then there were pool tables here. So yeah. it's, it's much nicer now. It's really, <laughs> that's, I mean, I remember your story when we first met, and right. that was really touching. And I've actually had some folks come in at different times and have shared their stories, right. or even some photos with me of it has yeah. kind of paying homage to what it was. So. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So it's, it's great that y'all are here during this revitalization um, of the neighborhood. Um, what are the hours of Bloom? So currently we're open just for dinner, Wednesday through Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, Wednesday and Thursday we close a little earlier, so we're 5 to 10. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday we're 5 to 11. Right. Um, and then the thinking on Sunday is that 
kind of were try to provide a place for folks in the industry that mm -hmm. don't always have a place to go at the kind of the beginning of their weekend. So right. we want to try to provide a nice environment for folks that friends of ours and just members of the community have a nice fun place to go on Sunday night. And do you all take reservations? We don't currently take reservations. Uh, our space is somewhat intimate, mm -hmm. so we kind of encourage folks to, sh to arrive a little earlier than their desired dining time. And then from there, if there isn't a spot available, we have plenty of um, bar space, as they call it. Right. And you can have gra grab a great drink or uh, one of our house-infused soda waters or anything of the sort. I actually came for dessert last week, and it was fantastic. Yeah. So we had dinner somewhere else, and came here for dessert, and it was yeah. really fun. We have a great pastry chef. She's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, how does a small business like Bloom impact economic development in the city of Roanoke? Well, I think uh, at the grassroots level, it's by kind of just employing the staff that you have. That's kind of your first step. Mm -hmm. And then also, a business like Bloom has a more significant impact in terms of the full circle of the ecosystem in the sense that um, by buying from local farms and supporting those local purveyors, you're kind of reinvesting that dollar directly into the community rather than sending it off to a corporate office somewhere else that can then be filtered out and trickle down slowly. We feel like our investment in the community is a lot more upfront, direct, and a lot more valuable in that sense. Keeps the dollars here. Exactly. And your staff is fantastic. You we have the a, best of the best. We have a great staff. We really do. We really do. Um, how can our viewers learn more about Bloom? Uh, well, we try to stay active on our social media pages, as Facebook, uh, Bloom Restaurant and Wine Bar, as well as our Instagram page, Bloom RKE, mm -hmm. um, or at Bloom RKE, I should say. Right. And then also, we're kind of in the sl slow process of building our website up. We have kind of a placeholder with some pictures and a little bit of information about us and a sample Good. of our seasonal menu, um, and that's BloomRKE.com as well. Nate, thank you so much for thank being you, with Lisa. us today. We're it's very, very to excited you. to have you here, and we'll look forward to hearing more great stories. Thank you so much. All right, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We are at Salt Foot Sanctuary, located here in the Hotel Roanoke, and we have with us General Manager Amelia Glaser. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So um, we're here at this wonderful foot sanctuary, and what is that all about? Right. What is a salt foot sanctuary? Well, it's a wonderful experience. We'll start with that. Mm -hmm. And it's very unique for this area, which is also really special. Right. The name comes from, we were a big, rich mineral salt deposit, a big marsh back in the 1800s. Uh -huh. And so um, we decided to name it salt, and also in each of your um, the salt mixtures is our salts. Okay. So that's where the salt comes from. Okay, sort of like the salt in the big lick? Yeah, do you of? get it? We yeah. were big lick and then we became Roanoke. Yeah, so um, we decided that salt was a perfect name. It's a special place. A foot sanctuary is um, it's uh, very relaxing. Mm -hmm. It's um, delicious for your feet, for your uh, body. It's very healing. There's some real healing qualities to a lot of the soaks. Um, and you kind of, you come in, uh, you pick your soak, there's four different soaks, right. and, uh, and you um, pick your massage. You can have a foot, a leg, hand, arm, or head, neck, and shoulder oh, wow. uh, added to that luxurious, luxurious experience. So it's, lots of options. Yeah. yeah, and it's important to get a massage while you're soaking because you're already so relaxed. Good, so. good. So when did you all open and how, how did it come about? Yeah, we opened, we are originally to Roanoke. So mm -hmm. uh, we do the walking food tour, the downtown yeah. uh, food and cultural tour, the beer tours, winery tours, um, all kinds of private tours. Right. And uh, actually, we've had a relationship with the hotel, Hotel Roanoke, for about six and a half years. That's mm -hmm. how long we've been doing it. Yeah. And they reached out to us because they're the first stop on our food tour. Right. So uh, they wanted to bring back spa services. You know, mm -hmm. it's a four-star hotel and uh, no spa services for the last year and a half. Wow. So, so that's how it all came about. And uh, I've hired te uh, a team of about 10 people, um, massage therapists and estheticians. And they're trained, they're wonderful to, um, to facilitate with the massages, the facials, um, the foot sanctuary and so okay. forth. Okay, and you so. all have had a soft opening. So when did y'all actually open? We opened 
opened about three and a half months ago. Okay, and then we're having a grand opening and ribbon cutting. Yes. On um, the, the first. Uh, or the first, yes. August 1st. August yeah. 1st, That's yes. Right. So we're very excited we're about excited. that. We're excited, yeah. So um, do you have to be a guest at Hotel Roanoke to take advantage of these services? Good question. Uh, you do not. The Foot, the foot Sanctuary holds uh, four chairs at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's a great thing to bring your family, friends. Uh, it can be romantical, too, you know. And um, so, no, you don't have to be a hotel guest. The hotel actually wanted to engage the community. So, mm -hmm. uh, so many people come here, you know, you can dine here in the Regency right. Room and, and then do a, a soak and massage. Um, we do have facility to do a facial in spa, one at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, but for most of the uh, massages, full body massage and facials, uh, that's done in room. Right. And so lots of couples, lots of people reserve it for special occasions. Nice, yeah. nice. What would you like for our viewers to know about this exciting new service? I mean, you've yeah. talked about the health benefits. Yeah, sure. There's so many benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, in our world today, I think we get so wound up and so stressed out. And this is a perfect place to just come in and unwind and to heal. You know, I think it's it really is. Um, my favorite thing is when people, um, they come in and we get them all set up and they go and soak and they come out. They're completely different. They're, they're, face, they're full of um, energy relaxation and, um, you know, their face is a different color. Which and it's is, like dim lights and very relaxing. Yeah, yeah, it's really beautiful music, dim lights. Yeah. You get complimentary beer, wine, or tea. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, sanctuaries, you sit around. It's a social event where you sip tea and talk. Nice. But it can also be a private event, a private yeah, experience nice. as well. So you probably would host like a group of four women if they wanted to celebrate a birthday. Exactly. Or something That's such happened as a lot. That. Yes, a yeah. lot of people. Uh, community uh, friends and uh, new friends have come back a third time. We have people that have already come back three times, so oh, nice. they're making it a, a weekly or a monthly event, so that's nice. really exciting for us. How does a, a, a business like this impact economic development in the city of Roanoke? Right, well, another great question. I think, Lisa, the engaging of, first of all, our partnership with the hotel. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing people from the community downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also, part of the Adventure Center uh, is, we're engaging with um, a sp places like Smith Mountain Lake, Roanoke Mountain Adventures, right. um, other businesses, golf courses, um, and so forth. You know, if a group of people want to come and stay at the hotel and go kayaking, um, you know, Roanoke Mountain Adventures has been partnered, and we're partnering with them. And so there's uh, there's a lot of, of interaction and actually bringing people to downtown, which right. is so important. And there are a lot of changes coming to the hotel, and this is just another exactly. added um, yeah. embellishment to the great things that are happening here. So right, and I really want to stress exciting. how unique it is. It's this, there's nothing like this in the region, so right. it's something really special to, uh, to experience. And really, until you experience it, you don't know right. what it's like. And you created X number of jobs, and that's wonderful. Yes, exactly. I've hired yeah. I've hired people, and yeah, engaging the conferences that come here as well. Right. Um, really special for people that are sitting all day. They can get a chair massage. They can come and soak after their nice. their conference. Very so. nice. Very yeah. nice. So how can our viewers learn more about Salt Foot exactly. Sanctuary? Exactly. Well, it's uh, SpaRoanokeVA.com. So www.SpaRoanokeVA.com. Okay. And uh, this number, of course, that uh, is also uh, c comes right to the spa, and um, we check that often. So, yeah, you can always get in touch with us online. Very good. Amelia, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. Thank We're you. very excited, and uh, we'll look forward to to more great things to come. And you have to come soak too, I'll Lisa. need to do that okay. sometime, yes, and I'll plan to do that. Come Thank and you. experience. I didn't say hours. Hours are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday okay. are our hours. So great. Yeah, great. those are good And time. you open at 11 in the morning? 11 in the morning till about 6 at night. Very good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, All right. Amelia. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Thank you for joining us today. If you have questions, you can reach me at the City of Roanoke Department of Economic Development. My telephone number is 540-853-1694, or you can email me at lisa.soltis at roanokeva.gov. Thank you.